Hello, this is Seraph, and welcome back to Blasphemous. Now, we're still down here in the painting storage, trying to find our way through this giant baby boss, which threw me through a little bit of a loop the last time, but we're going to see if I'm a little bit more aware and see if I can take him out the second time around. Let's see, do I remember what my... Uh, where's my prayer? That says, ah, I've got the healing, that's the one I want. Come on. Although I don't know if I can heal on this guy. I can definitely kick my ass. Oh no, I can heal. I don't know what that uh, target's for. Don't really want to find out though. There we go. That's a good spot to hide. Okay, you really hurt. Hang on, let me check my rosary. Do I have... No, I do have the fire. Oh, come on, you. Okay, you are just knocking me out of the park. Okay, come on. Ooh. Two of them. I am not keeping my eye out properly. Yeah, I so don't know your telegraphs. Okay, come on, what exactly is your game at? Come on, you. Oh. Well, at least I'm in a safe spot just to wail on him. Okay, can I... Oh no, I cannot get a little bit of life back. Oh! That's what happens if you get caught into that circle. The baby literally rips you apart. Okay, stay away from the circle. There we go. Just gotta stay real close to him when he does that spitting and just let the fires fly over you. Okay. So, that's the baby. And what's beyond? Looks like I've set the entire um, library on fire. So I think this looks like there's a bit further down. Can I try out my new I fall and not get killed? Yeah. I can. So what did I find? Uh, the nasal bone of Charles the artist. Let's see. Uh, the beauty of his work sparked a strong debate within the church. It was commanded that no representation could be more beautiful than life itself. Dryden's collection was confiscated and was forgotten. Or he was forgotten. Dryden. Wasn't Dryden one of the guys I had before? Uh, I think I found him early on and he did skulls. Uh... Nope, not looking like it. Don't know who Dryden is. I don't know why he's there with Charles. There we are. Let's see this. Banish to oblivion and pray these walls are some of the most valuable hidden works. So, crap. Okay, there's my guilt back. I really don't know why they made it so tricky. But, let's see what's further on. Can I find my way around back? There we go. Oh yeah, gotta keep my head down on this one. Oh, another one of these. Come on, you. Yeah, I know you hit me pretty hard. 
But there's that door open, so... So I guess it was a good thing that I tried to go back down through the top, so... I think before we head back up that uh, shaft, back into the library, we continue to have a look down here because there is definitely more to explore. It goes down a little bit further back. So let's have a peek at what we can find. Oh, don't hit me with that. Oh yeah, this is definitely not working out for me. Okay, here's the path down. So let's have a peek at what becomes available. Come on, you. Can I get this? Thank you. Sooty garlic, ooh. More for that, uh, uh, Brotherhood healers. Okay, let's see. It cannot be. I could have sworn the candle depicted in the painting was lit, and that room glimmed. Could I be losing my mind? Oops, wrong one. What are you losing your mind about? Ah. Uh... Cut hand, two burning candles, one red, one blue. Do I have to... Oh, I've got the balls of wax. Nope, can't do anything with that. I think maybe I have to fully upgrade the balls of wax to do those. And what's this? Maybe... Nope, I cut my hand, that did nothing. Is there anything here that's a cut hand? We do have the toes. Maybe those have something to do with that statue the pilgrim guy was at. I don't know. Nothing I can do with this quite yet. So, let's carry on. Oh, more swinging blades. Luckily these ones are high enough that I can just walk under. Or slide depending on where I am. Come on, you. There we go. And those guys are getting back up. Uh, I'm fearful the little one stopped crying as soon as we placed him in the arms of that wicker woman. As if it were his mother. Sometimes I can't help but think there's something living in that wicker. Sometimes it seems to be rocking him in the darkness. Ah, that was a big thing I killed. That was the baby. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen you. What have you got for me? Let us be captives of the miracle, penitent one. No, no, nothing? Okay. Feast Key. Feast your eyes on the envy of every merchant. The finest treasure to ever find its way into my hands. Are you sure about that? And may my heart stop beating if I'm being dishonest. See, we've got a key. Key to what? Key of the Inquisitor. Master key forged from steel. The heat of the sword carried by the great Inquisitor announced his revival even throughout, even through the coldest walls. That is expensive, but if it's expensive, it's got to be good, right? And we've got and this over is not something that delights me. So its price is as high as its value to me. It's a bile jar. And may the bells toll for me if I ever deceive you. Uh nine thousand for a bile vessel. Yeah, I'll take that. I could use more bile. And what is this? A coiled rope? This is a precious treasure to me. Its value goes far beyond what I ask for it. And may I don mourn in black if I'm trying to deceive you? Okay, what have we got? Wicker knot. Uh, bead braided in a spiral motion covered with a light coat of varnish that has protected it from the wear and tear of years. A mother's hands worked these strands and blessed them. Their influence resides prevent protection from toxic damage. Yeah, why not? I'll buy everything. Well, I got an achievement for that, I guess. I bought everything. So, where are you sticking me out? Looks like I'm getting closer and closer to the Mercy Dreams. Oh. Well, that's why they put these little platforms underneath. Just so you can quick escape. 
Ooh, hello. I've got a candle. A big bead of blue wax. Oh, how do I get you up there? I don't have a tall enough reach. No, I need that. And I need that. That was uh, defense. Yeah, I think that's everything that I need right now. Oh yeah, I can read the lore of this. I never read it. Uh, when she was taken to the campfire, the Inquisitors took the baby from her arms. She screamed, begged for the child not to see her burn. The boy who stared at her from afar, drenched in tears, was blindfolded. The blindfold was immediately moistened. The bonfire was surrounded by people there to see the execution. They screamed, calling her a witch and heretic. When the flames started licking the pile of firewood, she asked a kind soul to build a wicker figure in her image and size, and to place the child in its arms so that the baby would not miss her. And so they did, and when the figure was built, they placed the bawling child in its arms, and the orphan immediately stopped crying. The miracle was merciful once again. Ah, they burnt the child's mother, and she possessed... A wicker version of herself. That's interesting. No, still can't get you up there. Don't have a double jump. How can I get you? Okay, what else have we got? Kneecap of Sebastian the Puppeteer. Uh, Sebastian Woodja lived surrounded by puppets. To them they were his family. His cries marked the night, disappeared in the flames of theaters, exclaiming, I forbid you to move. Hmm. Okay. So, where did you drop me out? In the Mercy Dreams. Cool. Well, I think we should quick pop back to town, because I've got some stuff to give back. No, oh, I kill these guys in one hit now. Definitely gotten stronger. Okay, have you got anything for me? Because I've got garlic for you. Oh, I didn't read the suit of garlic. Oh, well. Be penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. Oh, what else have you got for me? Other than tears? No, just tears. Okay. Oh. Do you have anything for me? Because I know I gave you all the bones. Who's already met Cleophas? Who's Cleophas? Oh. He was once a member of this congregation. One woeful day, he broke his vows and left upon hearing the news that. A miracle had occurred. Was Cleophas the guy with the girl that's being we whipped? Never heard from him again. Please give him this. It will mean a lot to him. I've got a, cro a cord of true burying. In this place, we gather help us these poor Yeah, no, that's the same one. So, let's see, what is this? The cord of true burying? Oh, I also have the key of the Inquisitor. Uh... Lodzvinda rose weakly from her chair under the attentive gaze of all present and addressing the Inquisitors said, The apparitions are the truth gathered to my eyes by the Lord. For what other reasons could there be behind this miraculous talent? My sin has been overlooking the merit of such a valuable gift. The Inquisitor sitting in the center of the room answered, What gesture could then be more pious than using your grace in benefit of the church, holy and wise? Then he got up from his throne, and hoisting a lustrous silver tray bearing precious ornaments, said, May your fortunate eyes rest here henceforth, and windowless chapel be, thy, be their dwelling, for this is the world of our Holy Mother Church. Okay, I've got a locked door somewhere. And the Court of True Burying. Uh, whoever you are, I address my exhortation to you who, renouncing your will, embrace the obedience as the first key to humility. Only those who are whole will cross over to the other side of the dream. These words pronounced by our first master would become, the, uh, would become our illustrious rule. We, brothers, with our holy purpose of recollection and burial, will dedicate ourselves with complete devotion to such cause, it being our first thought at dawn and our last thought at bedtime. Okay. It's a braided rope from which hangs a medallion of one bronze, the emblem of the Order of the True Burial. Interesting. So I gotta give that to the guy. So, do, I don't think I have anything for this, but it never hurts to check anyway.
Bring me and no, nothing to bless. Okay. Okay, so it looks like after getting that giant bead of blue wax that this um, painting has lit up, so it looks like I do need to light the balls of wax. Still don't know what this bleeding hand is. Do I have a thing of these? It's a bleeding hand. I take that off? Yeah, so I, it's something I have to equip. Do I have a mea culpa heart with a bleeding hand? Heart of saltpeter blood? Well, I think I might get one of these that has a bleeding hand built into it of some variety. Either way, I think we'll see what we can find that later. So, making our way back through the canvases, back up to the library. So, we can make our way here and just hop over. Because there was that pathway up to the library that didn't want to go up quite yet. Maybe I can get a uh, Culpa Shrine. Okay. So, I've got this. What is this lever pull? This should bring an elevator down. Yes. And then I can hop up here. Ah, hop up on that. I need this off and this on. There we go. Ooh, it's very close. Ah, child. Ah, okay, gotta try that again. There we go. Okay, got that. Let's head up. So, whereabouts does this stick me? Ooh, man with a hand. Oh, he crumpled and fell. Is this another mask? It is. Now, let's read this one. Artifact found in the hands of a dead archdeacon in a library. Uh, the ravages of time have taken their toll on the mind of one I once respected like a father. He has allowed himself to be carried away by the superstition and the fallacies of the village, searching for the impossible with his clouded eyes among the altars of the mother. And Dolphus betrays the trust of the most illustrious, taking refuge in the cold peaks with his host of servants, wearing his introspection as an excuse to hide his laziness and lack of faith. Only I, the only one capable of ascending to the marble halls with an adequate response, remain. The forbidden volumes of these endless shelves will not resist the zeal of my searching much longer. Okay, searching for something in the books? Well, I think finding that mask will sit here in the libraries for a little bit and we'll see what's further on in the next one.